90 plus degrees out today, hot as hell. So, I manifold air temperature is already getting up there. I'm at 132 right now. I'll try and cool that down a little bit. You see that front mount intercooler, actually, the race does work pretty well. I mean, it's knocking the temperature down fairly quick. cycle and then pounds of flow all right let's see if I can hook when I get over here on the straight road came loose oh I guess I'm pulling too many G's there uh, and that sucks because I probably lost all the footage <laughs> right there of uh, 25 ish to 117 miles an hour that sucks I think 
think I left the key at the house. It's telling me <laughs> key not detected, but I think it fell out of my pocket and it's somewhere in here, but always a pain to find. Start this thing recording again. I had to leave the car running uh, at the gas station uh, because the remote clearly must be at the house. Must have fell out of my pocket. Ain't that a bitch? You can drive your car. Uh, basically, drive hell on a road trip, leave the key, and you're screwed. You shut that car off, that's it. And I've done that before. I've actually, during a hurricane, I moved my car, and the key wasn't in it. And uh, when I got it to my other house, um, the uh, I went to crank it. Nope, wouldn't crank. And uh, I called OnStar thinking hey you know emergency I'm out two hours away from my damn uh, other car I have no way to get there it never gets old <clears throat> and that was about half throttle fun 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 uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit Um, but uh, OnStar, yeah, they they can't crank your car for you, which I guess I mean I, I somewhat understand, even though I had the pin and you know all the information, but uh, there's no way around it. So I had to go back and get my key. I was locked out of my car, and I have the app where I can unlock my car doors, but that's all you can do. So you better have your key with you. I mean, when that thing goes off, you better believe it. That's all I'm saying. That's why I didn't shut my car off, because I would have been stranded right there at that gas station. So, not happening. Um, but this Holly is cool. Uh, the closed loop learning system, uh, everything that's wired in, it tells you the percentage of fuel learn. Like if you, if I set it to uh, basically um, the wide open throttle, I want it to hit 11.7, run a little richer on ethanol. It will adjust the percentage and tell you that it had to adjust this much percentage uh, to, to uh, basically map to that fuel, uh, air fuel ratio, which is, uh, which is really cool, that target air fuel ratio that you set. Um, I've got an NTK wideband uh, in the car, so uh, it's extremely accurate. Um, now, and I was considering this, but actually I'm thinking about selling the car and I've already got, I mean, so much stupid money in this car. And I just, I hate, I'm not going to get any of the money back out that I keep putting in, into the car. So, um, but if I kept the car, I would definitely do the direct port uh, EGR system that Holly has now. That is absolutely insane. I love it. It's you basically drill and tap and port each header uh, runner. So right off, right off of your cylinder head, you tap and uh, you measure EGT, and it maps it right to your dash. So I can pick that up right on my touchscreen. Each individual cylinder temperature, and that there's no better way to accurately tell. Uh, your cylinder conditions than, uh, than measuring the, uh, the exhaust gas temperature. I mean, you can you can do wide bands all day long, but you're still doing a sum total, right? Um, even if you're doing left and right, you still can't identify a real a cylinder issue as well as if you have that direct port EGR. So that's abs. I love it. It's only a th I mean a thousand bucks. Yes, a lot of money, but. A lot of work too. Um, I would do the work myself, of course, but um, but I, I there's no question that would be one of my next mods, just because I, with all the money in the car, the money in the engine, the block, um, I would want to always know if there's uh, a lean condition on the car, and. Um, that would be it and I'm sure there's fuel cut off there's timing cut off all that kind of stuff built into the Holly system where if you know you have a cylinder that basically gets too hot bam cuts the timing 
and uh, pulls power out of the car and you're safe. So I, I love it. I mean, Holly, I'm so glad I went with Holly. I had a Pro EFI 128 before before this and it's a good system, but it's just, it, it's, there's not many people that can tune it. Holly's easier to learn. Holly's got nice touch screens, uh, the closed loop learning feature. Um, it's just a more user-friendly, more uh, intermediate to expert uh, user uh, system that, that's really nice. Um, so, and again, it's, I mean, it's just a well-built, I've had it for a year and a half, year and a half now, and uh, I've had no problems with it. And I've had the Holly HP tuner, it's the HP system, because I have a manual, I don't need all the outputs of the Dominator. Uh, if I had an auto, I would want the Dominator so I could control all the transmission stuff, but I'm just controlling secondary fuel pump, and um, I am, I, it is set up for a 46 millimeter precision wastegate where I can do boost by gear. It's got four outputs, four inputs, and that's plenty uh, for me. That covers everything uh, that I need, so um, fuel pressure, uh, I could pick up oil pressure if I want. But again, um, so anyway, let me make a 60 pull here and uh, I'm going to go to 60. We're going to see what we can hit. Here we go. Especially when I've got good carbon ceramic brakes on this car. <laughs> 